I think as far as restructuring goes, it's, it's always a concern as a board member or a resident of Bridgewater uh, when we see staff being removed from classroom activities uh, to be put into a management or administrative type role. That being said, we have to comply with uh, state guidelines that are requiring uh, certain things as well as any sort of federal mandates that we're subjected to. Uh, so we do certainly need to take that into account. My concern in this situation is that these were all brought in as full-time employees on a full-time permanent basis as opposed to potentially as a temporary step to see where the ultimate determination was going as far as these state requirements. I think that's a little bit more of a concern. This is something that's certainly in flux. Um, the evaluation programs have been overhauled several times uh, with all different initiatives as they come along. I think it was probably too quick a decision to, to, to dump a full-time employee into that position knowing that we were removing them from the classroom. So I think we're going to need to keep an eye on that over time. You know, there's still ongoing discussion about how many evaluations and exactly how they're being done in catalogs. So I think we need to be mindful of that um, and be more responsive as a community in terms of our staffing model to make sure that while we are in compliance with what we need to be, that we're not overstaffing or potentially pulling resources where they're most needed, which is for our students and in a classroom exposure.